guys, so today I'm going to be doing what I got for Christmas. I got quite a few makeup related items I thought you guys would be interested in seeing. So I went ahead and decided to do this video. Of course, disclaimer of the nation, I'm in no way trying to brag about the things I got. I am very, very grateful. My family was very, very kind and generous to me as I was kind and generous to them as well. And also this was for Christmas and for my 10 year anniversary, which my husband did spoil me. But after 10 years, come on, like I deserve a little bit of spoiling, you know, I think. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'll do all the makeup related items first and then I'll show you a few clothing items that I got. I'm not gonna include all the clothing things because some of them I'm washing. <laughs> And I didn't think ahead to have them all washed and ready to go and I'm not trying anything on I'll just kind of just share with you really quick some of the stuff I got so the first thing I got for my husband was the Mi Vita Loca palette from Kat Von D and this beauty it's definitely for the makeup beauty collector I would not say it's a great starter palette because it's not really travel friendly or anything like that but I mean if you want some colors just look at this this is just gorgeous it has a wide variety of shimmers and mattes, different textures. It also has some neutral right in the center, so you have everything you need to create a look, which is awesome. So I'm not going to swatch all of this. If you want to see a more in-depth video on this, let me know. I know it's limited edition, so a lot of people wouldn't be able to get it, but some of you might have it, and if you are interested in seeing a more in-depth review on this, let me know. But I'm one of those people who don't buy all the Christmas sets before Christmas because people give them to me, or a lot of people want to review them beforehand. It just really depends on what you want to do, and that's totally fine, but because I didn't buy this for myself to review, it's a little late, so I apologize, but that's kind of how it goes. But I mean, this green, yellow, let's do this purple, do this hot pink, beautiful. Wow, that pink is like shockingly pink. So very excited for this. And also I love that there is some neutrals in there because I've really been drawn to some of her matte palettes and this kind of gives me a taste of everything. Next, I got this Melted Kisses and Sweet Cheeks set from Too Faced. Now I do already have the Peony and the Nude Melted Lipsticks, but those are some of my favorite colors, so I totally don't mind having them again. And they come packaged so you could give these separately if you wanted to, but I got them all. <laughs> so I love that there's this cute little Love Flush blush. And it is, I was actually surprised, like it is really super mini. I, I don't know if I was thinking it would be bigger, like it's the same size as the box, but when I opened it up, I was like, oh, that is quite a bit of packaging for just this little tiny guy. But I was really excited to get the Melted Lipstick and Fig because this is one that I've wanted for a long time. But I never wanted to spend the $30 or 20 something dollars just for the one color without knowing if I love it. So I'm glad I just got to try it out. Plus I have the two colors that I know that I'm gonna like. So I got the blushes. So the three colors of blush are Justify My Love, Your Love Is King, and Love Hangover. I don't know if these blushes are exclusive to this kit or if they are from the permanent line, but regardless, they are very, very beautiful. I'll give you a quick swatch of all of them. Super pigmented and they do last a long time. This one is the one I've been wearing most. This is Love Hangover. It's a peach coral and it just has enough touch of pink in it that it's what I'm wearing today as well. And I don't know, I just, I haven't worn coral in such a long time that it's been really nice for a little bit of a change. These blushes are really creamy and saturated. There's the swatches of those. Very, very pretty. Super excited. I also got that from my husband and he got me another little Too Faced goodie. This is the Le Petit Tresor. Don't know if I said that right, but <laughs> this is so adorable. It has the little pouch and the little Eiffel Tower, little zipper hanger, and it has three lipsticks in here. And one of them I think is in my purse. Not sure what I did with the other lipstick. Anyway, I was wearing it the other day. What did I do with it? Did I leave it in my coat pocket? <gasps> I need to find it. This is like a $20 lipstick. I love that this was such a good deal. Of course, I gave my husband a wish list, so he knew where he was directed to. But this is the color Wham. And at first I thought it was gonna be a lot more red, but it's actually really 
wearable berry and it's got a nice kind of glitter finish but it's not chunky on the lips this one is nude beach beautiful nude just super wearable and the other one is a pink color which is really really pretty and disappointingly enough I don't know where it is I will have to look for it I wore it on my anniversary night and I think I took it with me alrighty so with that I got a few of the little perks added in one of them was this mini Smashbox Full Exposure. I actually really like this little tiny palette. I took this with me when I went out of town because I didn't want to take this big palette with me. But it just has like a nice nude color and then a champagne. After using this, I'm like, ooh, should I get the Full Exposure palette? Like I was like, ooh, I, I really like this. This is so creamy. And this is also... One of the items I know they did in their Sephora play, so a lot of people might have this. So anyway, I thought that was really fun, nice little perk. This I haven't opened or swatched or anything. This is the Makeup Revolution High Color Lip Gloss in Bittersweet. This is quite the color. This is a shocking purple, whoa. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. That's a gorgeous purpley color. That is really fun. I've never tried any of their lip glosses, this Makeup Revolution lip gloss, so I'm excited to try that. Also, I got this little ornament, which is just says Kiss the Moon Gloss, and I haven't used the lip gloss in here, but it's just cute, and it's just like a little melon-colored gloss, so nothing too fancy. Okay, so this I actually got from my mother-in-law for Christmas. She actually gave me a gift card, so I got to pick this out. But it is the Chocolate Bonbons palette. I know some of you had asked me if I was going to get this. I wasn't planning on getting it, but since I got a gift card, I was getting it. So I'm going to do a whole separate review video on this. I'm going to film it after this because I'm pre-filming because next week I'm going to be in Disneyland, so I won't be able to be filming. So I'm going to do comparison on this, so stay tuned. That's coming soon. And I love it. It's gorgeous. It's what I got on my eyes today. I did some of the more pink shades and just having fun playing with that. So gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it as always. And then the last little bit I got was actually a surprise. So a friend of mine brought this to me and said somebody came into their work selling this. It's supposed to be $150 worth of product for $20. You know, when you hear that kind of statement that you're just kind of like, okay. Um, it's supposed to be Bobbi Brown's new line. Do I think that my friend was incredibly sweet to buy this for me? Yes. Do I think this product is worth $150? Eh, I mean, that's what it sells for on its website. Would I pay that much for it? No. Do I think it's Bobbi Brown's new line? No. I did see this once before when I was walking into a store, someone tried to sell it to me, and at the time I was on my no buy and had so much makeup, I was like, no, I don't need any more. But that being said, I thought it was like so incredibly sweet that she was like, oh, my friend Amber likes makeup. I bet she would love this. And it was really fun to play with it. And I haven't opened all of this stuff yet, but I'll show you guys. And that way, if you were interested in what this company is about, if you want a more thorough review on this, also let me know. This is from Me Makeover Essentials. I'll just show you roughly what's in there. So I have the Beauty Diary. So it comes like this. So it's a little like nice compact package. And then when you open it up, you've got your mirror. And then you flip this open. And you flip this open. And you've basically got everything you need. There's a little mascara in here, which is on my table because I was trying it out. But you've got some lip products here. And you've got a little plastic sheet to keep it from getting into your powders, which is always nice. And then you've got some eyeshadows here. You've got a bronzer, highlighter, and a face powder under here. And then you've got... A couple blushes so all in all not a really not a bad kit at all I don't think that it's gonna be on quality to be worth $80 personally but it's definitely a great little travel kit and I need to experiment and use it a little bit more before I have like a real definite opinion on it this is another this is the the purse petite mini so this is marketed as something you know just keep in your purse so then it has two larger eyeshadows a gray and a white you know they've got some decent pigmentation there and then you've got these shadows so you've got a champagne one and a blue one not bad and then you've got some lip glosses too i'm not a big fan of products where they have the lip gloss and the creams all in one palette but they do give you that little protective cover which is nice 
Also what came with it was these makeover essential makeup removing wipes which I'll bust into those to take my swatches off and then these three lip glosses. These are the Juice Me Up lip glosses. So let's give these a try. I haven't had a chance to open these yet. I do think the packaging is really pretty on this because it has the little swirl inside. I almost don't want to like ruin it. Let's see. Okay, so first I'm just getting a lot of clear. I'm going to keep pushing until I get the product out. So yeah, it actually, it's, it's a sticky gloss, but it doesn't seem overly sticky. It does have a nice sheen to it. So yeah, I'll have to try that out a little more. And like I said, if you guys want to have like a more in-depth review with swatches of everything and some more final thoughts on this, let me know. Let me know if you've encountered it, if somebody sold it to you, what your thoughts were, if... Alrighty, so those... Ooh, these wipes smell really good. Wow, the wipes smell really good. So that was a plus for sure. Mmm, those smell really good. It's like fresh cucumber. <laughs> smells awesome. Alright, so that's everything makeup related. So if that's all you're interested in, that's going to be the end of that. But I will show you a few other things that I got. First of all, my husband got me some fuzzy socks. I always love fuzzy socks at this time of year because my feet get cold. We have hardwoods, so it's always nice to have some cute fuzzy socks. My mom got me this sweater. This is from Forever 21. And it's a sleeveless sweater. And it has a little tie. It's like a long full length one. It has a little tie. And then it actually has a hood right here. So really cute. I love it because you can layer it over everything basically. And when I'm doing hair, it doesn't make me too hot, which I love. Also, my husband got me the brand new Adele CD, so I've been loving that. And my sister got me a couple tops. One of them I wore in my last video. And another one says Strike a Pose, but I wore it, so it's in the laundry. But And then she also got me this skirt. And I'm going to save this for spring because it's like a nice florally springtime print but I've never had one of these pleated skirts and I've always thought they're really cute like even like with a chambray or with boots and like a pink blazer like I just thought there's lots of fun pop possibilities for that and now I'll show you what I got for my anniversary the first thing and I did try these on and pick them out we went shopping together on our anniversary and these are from Wild Diva and I've seen these around everywhere on Instagram and I totally, totally wanted them because I don't have any nude shoes. And all the time when I see nude shoes, they're always pumps and I just don't want to wear pumps because it's just impractical for me and they're so high and I'm so tall. And now I'm getting older, my feet are getting older and they just don't like heels. So these are just, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And they have the little T-strap that goes around the ankle. Super, super cute, all the studying. So I was like, yes! Love those, got them on a super good deal too. And they had one of those <clears throat> little kiosks in the mall that had a bunch of leggings and the other two pairs I just wore, but these are just camo leggings. They're just like the one size fits all, really stretchy kind of fleecy leggings. But I was like, camo, I thought that was so cute. I'll just wear like a black tunic with them. The other ones I got were just like a chevron with some flowers. And yeah, I think the other one was like chevron and polka dots or something. But yeah, got some leggings. And then the main gift my husband surprised me with was my first real grown-up designer bag. So I know this may not be like completely designer for some of you, like not like Louis Vuitton, but to me this is <laughs> as designer as it gets in my life. This is a Michael Kors backpack and I actually saw this and sent pictures to him and I did not buy it and he went back and bought this for me, which is like the cutest thing ever. And I loved it because I feel like when I get a heavy purse it throws my back out and so I really wanted a backpack so I could have something that I could have strapped onto me that wouldn't make my neck and my shoulders and everything go out because I have such a heavy bag on my shoulder. Well all the backpacks I was seeing just looked like either cheaply made or they looked too juvenile and I was just like I don't I already look young I don't want to look like I'm in high school and I want something that's very chic and sophisticated so when I saw this I was like <laughs> and I just I am thrilled I'm so excited to have it so it has this beautiful nice front pocket here and it has just kind of these fabric straps and then in the back it has a couple pockets where you could put like a tablet 
It's got a nice satiny inside and then it's got a little pocket for your phone. The thing that I love too is it has a little key strap so I can just snap my keys in there. The nice thing about this is when I have kids, like we're going back to Disneyland with our kids in March and so I can totally take this on our Disneyland trip, strap it on my back, put my snacks, everything in there, good to go. Don't have to worry about it. I'm just so excited and so, so very blessed. Like seriously, seriously spoiled and I'm just so grateful that my family is just so kind and loving to me and this is for my family where I have three sisters and a brother and we draw names from my in-laws, from Jake. So it's from quite a few different people and I'm just so, so thankful. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this what I got for my Christmas and for my anniversary and I'll see you guys later. Bye!